Hey Soul Lovers, happy Self Love Sunday. So let's talk about meditation. And I really do push meditation because I really think when you are able to calm that mind down, when you're able to go within, then that's where those solutions come from, those answers come from. And it's interesting because when you're in a state of meditation, you're not thinking of anything. You are being as mindful as you possibly can, meaning that you are just letting go anything that comes up, any emotion, any um, feeling, any thought that comes up, and you are just sitting with yourself. And I know a lot of people think, oh, meditation, it's woo-woo, and, and uh, so you're basically not doing anything. You're just sitting there and I know that we get caught up in this whole idea that we should be doing things, that we should be planning and scheming and calculating every move that we have and we, we tend to control things more when and shape things to what we want when, when we're um, more in our mind, in our head, when we're more ego. And I think that's because society thinks that we should be constantly doing things, planning things, planning the future, um, <clears throat> planning our next move. And when you're in a state of meditation, you're not planning anything. You're just allowing. And I think that's where, um, when you're in this state of meditation, that's where you are able to open up to greater solutions, better answers than you would be if you were just in the state of being uh, completely logical and allowing uh, ego to control everything. When you are in this state of meditation, then um, you are able to connect better with who you truly are, with your divine self. You're able to hear the answer come to you a lot better. You're able to let things go and let things unfold. And yes, there is a time and place for when you should take action and a time and place for when you should just allow. So when we're able to get into this state of meditation, when we are able to let go of those things on this physical plane that hold us back or uh, that we need to control, when we're able to just let that go and be with ourselves, be quiet within ourselves, then that's when the answers come. That's when the solution presents itself for whatever you were thinking about. And when you take that action, whatever that action is, it's inspired action. It's not coming from a place of fear or um, not trusting that things will unfold as they should. And so that inspired action will be, when you take that inspired action, then that action is the best action for whatever it is that you're trying to figure out. So <clears throat> sitting in this state of meditation and just letting go and um, getting quiet within yourself, it might seem a little daunting because we are so trained to constantly think things through, be completely logical. And I know that for some people, especially for me, when I was starting to meditate, I was hesitant, I was resistant because I was worried about what I might find when I got quiet with myself. What would come up for me? What emotions would come up for me? I was afraid of that. I wasn't sure what to expect. Would I, what would I discover? What would I unveil about myself that I might not like about myself? And once I was able to do this on a consistent basis and those things, because things do come up, when they bubble up to the surface, they weren't as scary as I thought they would be. I was able to just look at them, observe them, and then let them go. And and they did not affect me at all. And that's the key is don't replay that or relive that whatever bubbles to the surface. Don't relive it because that is the past. Um, just look at it, just observe it and love it for what it was, what it taught you, what you've learned from it. 
and then let it go. You cannot change it. All you can do is change this moment and how you felt or how you feel about it. So now that I do this on a consistent basis, I'm not afraid of what I discover and it's actually freeing and um, there's so much joy in discovering these things that bubble to the surface and you just have to laugh with with elation and it it's amazing when you get quiet with yourself the things that you can release and you become stronger within yourself and you come to know yourself and trust in your own divine power so I really encourage meditation for people. It's, it's really important. And you don't have to sit in a lotus position. You can also go for a walk in nature and have the intention of clearing your mind, of, of being mindful and just looking around you at whatever's before you. And you don't have to put judgment on it. You can just look at it. And it's amazing when you're able to get out of your head and your perception goes further when your monkey brain isn't completely chatting to you or filtering out things or um, making you judge things. So go for a walk, um, sit in meditation, uh, stare at a candle, stare at the stars. Just as long as you your mind is not completely uh, going around in circles. And you don't have to think of solutions. You don't think, have to think of answers. Just let it be and trust and just come to know who you are deeply and love yourself deeply. And I, I guarantee that once you do, once you start doing this on a consistent basis, what you're going to discover is peace and love in your heart. You will discover that peace and love in your heart. I. I did and uh, yes there are days where my brain will not shut off and meditation is a struggle but there are also days where it just um, it just connects and everything works and uh, all I say is that keep trying be keep being consistent and being persistent about meditation this has been your soul of moment have an awesome and beautiful week.